This conference will now be recorded. Right, so so yesterday we understand about has a relationship. Okay, has a relationship. So we can take any number of examples. Okay, a laptop uh, with what? A RAM. Okay, a laptop with the charger. Right, so you can take any number of examples. So car. Uh, with the engine so you can say a laptop has a RAM. laptop laptop or, or desktop or a laptop has a ram right so laptop has laptop has a charger right so you can uh, you can uh, take uh, any examples like any number of examples Car with engine. Okay, so car has an engine. If you look at the what kind of uh, relation it has, relation when I say relation, it's nothing but what association. Okay, relation when I say relation, it is nothing but association. What kind of association it has? Laptop uh, has a RAM. So is it compulsory or not? So without RAM without uh, ram so can laptop can exist can can laptop exist if if yes that is what aggregation if not then that is considered as what considered as what aggregation aggregation composition if it is a um a strong relation then it is known as what strong association then it is known as what composition if the association is weak association then we can say it is aggregation okay so this is a uh, compositional aggregation should be composition right so if you look at a laptop the laptop has a charger okay so without charging charger also not possible right so it does composite maybe uh, say for example laptop with laptop with the external hard disk external hard disk external hard disk so this is optional Hard disk, external hard disk may or may not. Okay, so a laptop can exist without having external hard disk also. So this is what. So this is what aggregation. This is what aggregation. And if you look at car or vehicle with engine, without engine, so yes, there is no point of okay vehicle. Talking about vehicle. So this is composition. This is what kind of association. This is strong association, right? But this is what also like you can say so it's all about you have to think okay so uh, how the two entities are related and what kind of relation it is it's a strong relation or weak relation based on that we can define it okay yesterday we have seen an example of uh, uh, address and person right so person has address person has address every person has other number right so that's a strong association okay if other has additional fields and you can take that as a separate class okay and uh, all other related logic you can write over there and you can link that other to person but for now i just taken as a number only other number then so it's a simple primitive type law string name but when it comes to address okay every person should have address okay so person has address so address is my separate component i have defined that as a separate component i'm using it here the same address component once i build it i can use that any number of places okay once i have defined my component this component is what address component nothing but address class when i say component just it's, it's, it's just entity class okay so here uh, I'll have everything related to address. I'll have defined here. Now, this address can be linked with any number of classes. This address can be integrated with any number of objects. Okay. Say I have I have a person here. Okay. I have a person here. Person can have address, of course. Person. Say employee. Okay say admin so everyone has address or not so that is what so say it's a reusable component now this is a 
a reusable component this is a reusable component okay so i i'll just keep it here yeah. this is a reusable component i can reuse this okay i can embed as part of this i can embed as part of this i can embed as part of this okay so it's a reusable component address component is a reusable component and uh, that can be uh, embedded as part of person as part of employee as part of admin right so that's what we are we are reusing it okay we are just uh, reusing it so this is what we can have this as part of it let me open a small one all right so address component uh, i'm going to have it here that's what so the same address m person has what address the same address okay so we have address all right so now it's more clear for everyone hopefully okay so employee has address and admin also has address component right so that's what we can embed we can cup we can embed address with the uh, uh, embed this address with other components okay we are reusing the component instead of writing the logic here here and here in all the places where our address is required i'm defining that as separate uh, class and i'm using that class as part of other classes and so the person and address are going to relate with each other person has address so this relation is what has their relation right okay now let's understand a bit more about um, easy relationship we are going to understand the continuing to the same class models but we'll understand today about easy relationship okay easy relation the purpose of has a or easy relationship is what reusability only the main purpose is what code reusability only whatever it is is a relation or has a relation okay so code reusability now so if you look at this if you observe this person okay uh, trainer um, student maybe admin okay let me define few things around this okay so here let me create new class admin class okay i'll define a package um, dot java dot practice or training okay and in that this i'll say is a relation okay <clears throat> So here I have admin class. Let me define new class, employee class, or say person class. Okay, I am defining a person class. I am defining then student. I am defining a trainer. I am defining trainer class. Okay. So, by considering a simple uh, training institute, I have defined these things. So, in an institute, there is admin team, uh, nothing but employees, and we have a uh, <clears throat> student, we have a trainer. Okay, I'm just considering this. All right. Now, if you look at admin, okay, look into admin team. So what are the basic characteristics of uh, admin? Okay, admin is what is a person or not? Admin is a person, right? Admin is a person. Oh. <clears throat> admin is a person. So admin has his own characteristics. So admin has some ID, of course. Right. So you can take it as a string or long or whatever you want. No issues. Okay. Uh, ID. Then admin has name, right? So what is the admin name? Okay. And he might be having some role, admin role. What what is role or then his designation? Okay, designation maybe is is okay. His date of birth, date of birth. What is the other number? Okay, so long 
other number okay keep writing this there will be a number of things right so admin specific things so admin role and designation okay and remaining things if you look at admin id name a a state of birth other number looks like these are a common properties across okay the other entities as well so if you if you go to uh, if you go to a student so what student has in general of course every student has an id then uh, then every student has id and every student has name every student has other number every student has ace every student has date of birth okay and of course um, importing this date so this is uh, imported from the predefined classes java pre predefined class this is a predefined class and imported from your package java.util package now if you come to here date of birth id name other number is date of birth so what does student can have student to course what course he joined okay course course uh, joined okay so what else he has maybe like how much fee he paid uh or other details okay uh, date of joining okay so another field date of when when he joined it or he might be having some uh, batch which batch he uh, in, in in for for one course i have multiple batches so what batch he is joined okay so batch id or something like that okay or batch name or something like that so some specific thing like this student details will be there and if you go to trainer trainer if you look at trainer so every trainer has id or not of course every trainer will be given some unique id and uh, so he is an employee right trainer is kind of employee from where he is working so he should be having some date of joining should be having some date of joining so trainer name what is the trainer name what is the uh, trainer name what is the trainer other number trainer other number and uh, uh, what else i have trainer name other number is okay or, or date of birth okay or date of birth okay trainer what subject is going to handle okay uh, string course is course handles course name or simply course name at list of courses okay so courses he handle and uh, what is the pay so as he is a trainer so he will be having the pay right so what about the pay so like this so you can define you can list out all the things and you can uh, okay you can write down all the characteristics of this so how many uh, how many components i have total how many classes i have i have admin class i have student class i have a trainer class okay but now let me delete this okay so i have three classes okay i have three classes admin student trainer okay so just observe these three classes just observe the three classes i'm removing everything else simply i can go here i can say close others trainer dot server student dot server admin dot server so let us focus on only these three classes okay trainer dot java student dot java admin dot java if you observe these three models very clearly you can see a repetition right so id is repeated in trainer class in student class in admin class and if you look at name is repeated in trainer student and admin a similar way if you look at author number that is repeated in all the three classes if you look at age that is repeated date of birth is repeated date of joining trainer date of joining so here student admin of course admin also should be having some date of joining or of course admin is also employee so it should be having some date of joining okay but if you look at this closely so most of the properties are most of the properties are repeated or not most of the properties are repeated most of the properties are repeated 
and as the properties are repeated obviously when you write the constructor setter getters everything is going to repeat it or not the unnecessary code whatever we are going to write is unnecessary code and it requires more time uh, in maintain, maintaining this function so it takes maintenance time extra maintenance time if you are repeating the code uh, where you have up where you have a opportunity to reuse but still you are uh, trying to do uh, duplicate that leads to okay that leads to code extra code maintenance time meaning <coughs> okay so if i if i somehow if i manage uh, if i manage all the common thing at one place common thing at one place tomorrow if i wanted to add one more thing to the common so so it, it takes minimal time for me it takes very minimal time and to work with to test it to develop it in all the way it takes less time definitely so what i can do what i can do is okay what i wanted to do is i wanted to move all these things to a common area okay let's say i have three sections right i have three sections okay one two these are the three classes i have okay what are the classes i have here i have a admin class i have um, student and i have trained correct and if you look at the piece of course okay if you look at the piece of code okay so trainer you have these things you have these things so you have these things in uh, uh, trainer right okay you have these things in trainer okay and if you look at if you look at um, student you have this stuff in student you have this stuff right now admin so now get into admin you have these properties now you compare you compare all these things okay admin student right right so if you if you uh, look at these all okay what are the common factors whatever you have so i can move all the common factors common characteristics or properties into top level so what i do is i'm going to uh, abstract all this I'm going to abstract all these common properties. What are the common properties I have? I have ID, name, uh, age, date of birth, other number, date of birth. So these are the common properties or not. So whatever the common properties I have, I'm going to move it out. Say ID, then string name, then uh, age. Okay, so I'm going to take age then uh, i'm going to take date of birth i'm going to take uh, uh what else i have other number other number other number date of birth other number date of joining also okay this is also common right uh, what else common okay now if you see so i don't have to now i don't have to uh, write the same story here so name i don't have to write the name i don't have to write the name is date of birth other number so all these things i don't have to write over here i don't have to write over here uh, name other number is date of birth so this all stuff uh, date of joining okay and here if it if you come here so date of joining name other number is date of birth so all these things i don't have to write it over here okay so only those are like specific to that particular entities i will write those properties in that particular uh, classes and everything else i will move out uh, uh, i'll move out into abstract level and what i do is i will get all these properties from here to here I will get all these properties from here to here. I will get all these properties from here to here. So that's what I'm, I wanted to do. Okay, that's what I wanted to do it. 
a second. Yeah, so this is what, so I will name this, I will name this a separate thing. Maybe, so some realistic name that I wanted to give here, maybe uh, uh, that's what I thought of giving a person, okay? So I thought of uh, saying this is a person class, okay? Because, so I can say admin. So admin is a person or not? Admin, can I say admin is a person? A student is a person, a trainer is also a person, a human being, a person, whatever. Can I say that or not? Can I say that or not? So admin is a person. Admin is a, a person. So that's what I can say. Okay. Admin is a person. And if you look at student, of course, student is also a, a person. Okay. Trainer is also a person. Okay. If you relate this, if you relate this, so okay, person. Uh, person to admin, person to uh, person to admin, and person to uh, student, and person to trainer. This is the base, so abstract level. Okay, these are specific level. This is a generic level, and here this is what specific level. Okay, so specific level, and these are. Uh, related associated is a relationship so i can say student is a person i cannot say student has a person can i say that or person has a student no i can't say that okay this is not a has a relation this is a easy relation where again we are reusing the code we are going to reuse the code here we are going to reuse the code do you understand this so far are you are you followed any questions let me know around this let me know if you have any questions now what i do is i'm going to create a new class person class i will move all the common properties to the person class and here so whatever common things i will i will move to person class okay so designation is not specific role is not it's not generic okay those are specific so whatever the common properties i have i will define it in my person class and i'll write i'll write the constructor i will write uh, all other stuff okay so i can uh, generate all of them right go to source where is my source source source, source. come on <clears throat> I wanted to generate a constructor, constructor using fields. Yes, of course, I wanted to. This is what my constructor. And here I will write all the setters and getters. Uh, setters and getters, of course, for all of them. I wanted to uh, select all. For all of them, I wanted to generate setters, getters. And here, if you want, you can generate also two string method. That's up to you. And uh, depends on the requirement okay so that's what so i am done with my person class almost 70 lines of code this can be reused instead of writing this 70 lines of code in across all these places we can reuse so now remove the i wanted to remove uh, the common things is data of birth data of journey everything now it is more simplified or not my admin class is more simplified and you can have a constructor here okay so source uh, we can yeah we can generate setters and getters of course you can write the constructor also source okay i'm generating the constructor also right and uh, okay so the same way like i will go to student i'll go to admin i'll remove all the things common things 
So course join batch name. Only these two are specific to student. So I'll just have source the constructor and source setters and getters. In a similar way, uh, trainer, I'll go to trainer also. Uh, so ID, date of joining other, all these are common. Course name and pay are specific here. Okay, so I will uh, generate, okay. Go to source. Okay, we'll modify the same code. <clears throat> so uh, set us and get us okay right now can we combine the easy and as relationship yes we can do that we'll come back to that now uh, what so I, everything is fine but where are you linking these two uh, things the set of things so we have to establish this relation or not that is important right we had to establish this relation we had to Establish this relation or not? What is this relation? This easier relation from this class to this class. There is a link or not? So where is the link that we created in code? We did not create it, right? So all are separate, separate classes, and we never created the link. Trainer and person. Where is the link? Student and person. Where is the link? Admin and person. Where is the link? We don't have links, right? We have to establish that relation or not. That is what, as it is a relation. Uh, is a relation so we have a concept of okay inheritance okay that's what what we are doing is what we are doing here is we are going to inherit all these properties from the person class into this admin class we are inheriting all the properties from person class into the student class we are inheriting all the properties from person class into trainer class okay so that's what we are extending it admin my admin class is extended by this person meaning that so you bring all these features whatever i have here in person and extending to extending to that person class okay i have additional things here that's what role and designation these are extended characteristics for me whatever you have in person you get everything and extended uh, extended the person using these properties extension basically that is what we have a special keyword called extends keyword extends keyword and you can do person okay so you are extending extending what person class okay you are extending what person class so it's giving some error okay we'll, uh, okay so we'll uh, come back to this because it's giving error or not so we'll have to deal the constructors in a different way okay i'll uh, I'll, I'll i'll let you know okay for now what i do is i'll just write uh, constructor okay admin constructor mm. go to person so here we have a constructor we have a constructor forget about this okay mm. okay let me extend this will fix that now Okay, the same way my student also should should be extended by what? Should be extended by what? Person. Okay. The similar way my trainer is also should be extended by what? Extended by person or not? Okay. So now establish a relation. I linked all the classes. I have linked all the classes. Okay. However, now I am facing an issue with the constructors. I am facing an issue with the constructors let us fix that okay now the child classes i don't have constructors now okay i'm going to define it in the part but in the person class i have all the constructors or not i have all the constructors okay first let me know are you clear so far or not okay no questions perfect perfect okay here you have to understand about the constructors here okay constructors here um, before uh, uh, before 
uh, okay working with these many uh, properties okay let me take a very simple example and uh, let me make you understand that okay so say for example uh, say for example i have uh, animal class okay simple example i'm taking animal class with one property i don't want to take more properties over here string animal name okay animal name i have animal name and now i'm going to take uh, another class okay another class just observe okay another class what dog so dog is animal or not dog is animal yes of course so dog is a animal so it has easy relationship so i can extend this by animal or not of course i can do that now okay now uh dog has additional properties also right maybe what kind of animal it is the wild animal or or what action it is going to do okay um so for type of animal or maybe some tell me some dog specific property so how it shows so <clears throat> So here, uh, take some additional properties. Okay, A's or something, uh, something like hint A's, okay. So here, understand the concept of uh, the inheritance here and uh, understand the concept of, uh, understand the concept of uh, uh, initializing the super and the uh, uh, child properties so here if you look at i have I, I can write a constructor okay i can write a constructor animal constructor how many properties i have just try to understand with careful uh, and happy attention okay so here i have a constructor here animal constructor and to this constructor i have to pass the data or not i'm going to pass i'm going to give uh, argument parameter animal name correct animal name i'm going to give the animal name and this dot uh, this dot name is equal meaning that this property this name is equal i am assigning animal name i'm assigning animal name so this is what my constructor so whenever i'm creating object for animal i have to give the name what is the animal name right all right now now i'm going to dog dog class how many properties i have i have one property that is what is so now if i wanted to create a dog object if i wanted to create a dog object so i have to use the constructor or not i have to use the constructor so while using this constructor okay while using this constructor i have to initialize my dog's is or not i have to initialize my dog's is correct so this dot is is equal dogs dot is correct dogs dot is fine now what about dog name dog also has name or not then what is the dog name where are you initializing the dog name that is the question here that is the question here okay so let me write a test class test to test this okay animal animal test okay where i have a main method to test this so for example i i, I wanted to create a dog object dog d equal to new dog of. okay so when i'm creating a dog object so i have to initialize the dog name and the yes both the properties right but if you look at the constructor of it so it has only dog says then where is my name my name is uh, placed in the animal class which is what in super correct then how can i initialize that so that logic that initialization logic is there in my parent class that is what animal class is a super class right this is super class so animal is my super class and my dog is a child class so both are having parent child relation so dog is extended by animal dog is extended by animal so i can say both are in relation right so parent child relation now so the animal name is 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 going to have the initialization logic over here so what i can do is i can call this constructor from my child class so in this i can call super by giving my animal name then where is the animal name where is the animal name that's also you have to pass for the constructor 
So here you have to pass the dog's name. You have to pass the dog's name. My dog name is my animal name. Instead of initializing it here, I'm going there and initializing there itself. That's what I'm going to do it. So in the animal test, so here now I can pass both the parameters. What are the what are the parameters? Age and the name. So my dog constructor is expecting two things: age and name. So here I am going to uh, pass the name and age. Okay, so age and name. Right? I think age and name. so okay, maybe three years. And uh, so my dog name is puppy. Okay, my dog object is ready now. My dog object is ready now. So later, if you want to print the dog's property, you can write a method, okay? Uh, public, okay? Void print dog state. Okay? So here you can print the information. This dot, okay, uh, is, and this dot name. This is what, this refers current object. This refers current object. Current object in the sense, and what object you are calling this method, that object. Okay, now uh, I, I have dog object here D. Now I'm calling D dot print dogs information. Now what object I'm using to print it? This dog object. So there, this refers this particular D. D dot name and is. So this details it is going to print. Okay, that's so like you can test this, and you can see the output. Puppy and tree are initialized. Okay, so these kind of uh, uh, syntaxes and all, you don't see the real difference if you have only one property. But imagine that you have 10 properties or 20 properties. All 10, 20 properties you have to initialize it here or not. So in this case, so you have to initialize it here. You might be having a number of animals or not, not just a, a dog, right? You, you can, you have a cat, you have a rabbit, you have a tiger. You have line and number of animals okay so in all the places you don't have to initialize all the 10 lines 10 properties and instead of that you just create all the common things here and initialize all this here okay all this from parent class and only thing is you have to call the super class constructor from your child class constructor you have to invoke your super super class constructor from your Child class constructor. However, you have to pass all the required things for the dog. For all the required things for the dog. Okay. Now go back to our uh, example. Okay. Now person class has ID, name, is date of birth, other number, date of joining, everything. Okay. Now I have to initialize all these for uh, admin or not? Because admin has ID, name, all these things. Trainer has all these things. Student has all these things. So in all the places, I have to initialize it with the respect to data. So that is where. So we have to define the constructor. We have to define the constructor here by passing all the details. So I have course name, string course name. These are specific properties. Right, course name. So trainer course name I have to initialize. Uh, trainer pay salary I have to initialize it. Yes or no? I have to initialize the salary along with the trainer has name. I have to initialize the trainer name also, trainer ID also. All the stuff I have to initialize, trainer name, uh, trainer ID, then is, okay, trainer is, date of birth, date of birth, date of joining, date of joining, other number, all the properties I have to initialize. Okay, so other number. I have to initialize all the properties okay now what i do is whatever the available things here i will initialize it here itself okay this dot course name is equal course name course name okay course name this dot pay equal to salary salary okay now, what about the other properties? All the other properties I don't have here, right? Where I have all these properties in the super. So that is where I'm going to call the super here. Super class constructor by passing all the properties. Parameters, ID, 
name, age, date of birth, or the number, date of birth. I'm going to pass all the details. Okay, super. So why the error here? Uh, date of birth. Okay, I need to import. I need to import this date because it's a predefined class. Okay. Now see here. Now the see, see the story here. Now when you wanted to create a new trainer object, <clears throat> okay, you had to give all the trainer information. And uh, the common uh, things, the common properties initialization happens in the parent class, and the specific properties initialization goes here. Okay. In the similar way, if you go to student, the same thing, you, you had to do the same thing in student also. So you had to do the same thing in student also. Go to student, the super class constructor, you have to do it. And this course join and then batch name. These are the two specific properties of the student. Uh, here course join, okay, course name or course join both are same. Then this property, I will take it as string batch name. String batch name. So this I will give it this batch name. Okay. Do you understand? Are you following? In the similar way, I will have to do in admin also. This is how uh, the actual code reusability you can see. String rule, string designation. Okay. String designation. And all other properties will be common. Okay, my string role, this dot role is equal to and this dot designation is equal to this parameter designation. Okay, so all other properties are going to uh, be same. Why the error is coming up? Because this should be the same name, class name should be same as the constructor name. Okay, uh, this is how we can initialize the properties. Okay, now, so this constructor logic, meaning that this particular, this five to seven lines of code, you don't have to write in all the places. We are just reusing it by making a simple call to super. So the super is a special keyword, super is a special keyword to call the super class constructors. You need to pass whatever the data required for that. You need to pass whatever the data are required for that. Now just to write the test class for this, okay? I'll write a test class for this. So class test. Mm, this is, I'll say, easy relation test. So easy, easy relation test. okay so here i wanted to create uh, uh, records for student okay then a uh, student s is equal to new student i'm going to create object for student so i have to give all the properties course name what is the course name okay so java what is the batch maybe 8 am or 8 am okay so i have uh, what is this name student name okay so so what is the uh, id so you can give you can generate these ids later like randomly is okay maybe okay so 20 and date of birth this is a date right so you have to frame the date okay uh the appropriate date for now i'm just not going with the details just creating a new date today's date okay but you have to format it uh, as per your date we can work with the date concepts later Okay, date of joining again. Uh, this is also like for now. I'm just random. I'm just taking the today's date only. Other number, it's just some long value. Okay, so by three, five, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, one, some number, some other number. Okay. L is the suffix. This is how I can create the I can create the okay student object. In a similar way, if you want, you can create trainer object. And other objects okay so now i wanted to print the student details now go to student do we have two string method here no let me write it or let me print let me write some display logic over here okay display logic this is my uh, method display method so here you can call super dot two string simply 
because in super dot two string if i call well, all regular percent details it is printing and apart from that i will print okay i will print what else i will print the other details okay so you can write your own method to display or simply what you can do you can overwrite two string method or not simple so if you want if you want customization logic you write it so if you want to uh, take the default uh, uh, format you can go with that source then write two string and generate two string for what inherited fields or everything are only these two fields only these two fields is enough now i wanted to uh, generate from the inherited fields i want those details also i want those details also then what i do is i will simply say source okay generate two string with all the fields with the inherited fields also i wanted to get the inherited fields what are the inherited fields id name is date of birth all these whatever i have in the parent person class everything now you see in the student i have everything now okay so now simply i if i print student reference okay if i print student object i will go uh, it's going to print all the uh, it, it calls the two string method and it will uh, uh, print this particular logic it will print this particular logic so run this and see run as java application okay so you can see the student information or not that's all guys that's all so for reusability anyhow we'll discuss more about the inheritance we have many things to discuss okay but today i i try to make you understand okay the importance of uh, easy relationship how the code reusability happens okay but tomorrow i'll just uh, take uh, basic examples to understand the inheritance basic inheritance okay like what are the different things or uh, different uh, rules we have and inheritance okay that's where we'll uh, move on to overriding concept okay that's what dynamic polymorphism will we'll, we'll see all of them okay in the similar way you can uh, create student you can create admin you can create what trainer object so you you can you can you can do that okay new admin and a new trainer so can you guys give a try this uh, can you can you do your own set of uh, parent child classes and can you do a simple assignment like maybe you can take the same animals with the different uh, child classes dog cat okay like uh, uh, can you uh, do that assignment for me by tomorrow i'll send this piece of code to you follow this and do that assignment okay anyhow you have to match this constructor so that it will uh, the errors will go off okay the errors will go off all right so this trainer constructor is expecting different set of uh, uh, properties so you have to match that okay so remove it eclipse helps for us always trainer of your course name you have to it's a string salary is a double value so you have to give some salary uh, and double the name and all id you have to pass all the things okay three is okay so date of birth all the stuff you can give you can configure the actual date okay but now i'm just giving it. okay so this is what the other one so you have to match the constructor parameters what it is expecting you have to pass proper details okay then you can uh, uh, override two string method in these two classes as well okay so that it will print the details it will print all the details uh so is it is it uh, giving any confusion are you good you have any questions let me know have any questions how oh. shankar uh, is it uh being little confusion fine okay all right then okay so let's continue tomorrow about the inheritance more details about the inheritance this 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 session is just only targeted for understanding easier relationship how different components are related related and how they are reusing the code how they are reusing the code, code reusability in terms of parent and child where we are getting the uh, uh, common properties from the parent into the child classes okay 
instead of redefining uh, the same common things across all the children classes we are extra uh, we are we are, uh, we are extracting and we are defining at abstract level which is what parent level and those details comes automatically into the chain class so that's what inheritance anyhow we'll discuss more about inheritance in tomorrow's session that's all for today okay let's meet tomorrow